Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa with VCABS and Marco, and this channel is all about bringing you the best information and sound advice on topics related to dog behavior and dog training. Now, this video is part of our five minute technique series, and I'll be showing you how to train your dog to uh, perform a sit on request, and I'll be sharing my five best strategies on how to maximize your training success for this exercise. Sit is such a basic request that every dog owner should be able to teach their dog to learn, but it is also so much more than just being able to ask our dog to sit in a specific position for a specific period of time. Now sit, the request to sit has so many important functions and the most important function is that it helps us to manage our dog's excitement levels. So if we think about it, when we have our dog in a sit position, they're not jumping up, they're not running around, and they're also usually facing us when we've asked them to sit. And so that means we can also ask them for another desirable behavior. And that's really, really important. And another great thing about sit is it really is the starting point to be linking other behaviors together um, when we consider their movements and how they link together and flow together, sit is a very versatile skill for our dog to learn. Now let's think about my five strategies to help you maximize your training success when you're asking your dog to perform the sit request. Now, number one, always visualize what the exercise is going to look like. Now, if we think about it, we have our dog, um, they're going to have most of their weight shifted on their hindquarters because their bottom will be touching the ground and they'll be sitting on their hindquarters essentially. They'll have some weight on their two front paws, but most of it is going to be on the hindquarters. Now, after we're thinking about how it looks, the position looks from our dog's point of view, let's also look at the second very important strategy before we start training. And that is to take precautions before we're asking our dog to perform that request or train that request. Now, it's not very nice to be asked to sit on hot bitumen or cold concrete. So make sure you have a nice comfortable surface for your dog to sit on when you're training this exercise. That's the main precaution. What is the obvious starting point from our dog's perspective? Well, from a standing position is the easiest and this leads on to where we should be positioned. We want to be in front of our dog so they can clearly see the hand gesture we will be using. We want our dog to be moving their head to look up at the food reward, which will tilt their hind quarters and their bottom towards the ground. So what's the action that we'll be performing? We'll be holding the food reward just in front of our dog's nose and we'll be drawing our arm back over the top of their head and as they look up, this tilts their bottom towards the ground. And we time our bridge using our clicker at the exact moment when our dog's bottom touches the ground. Now, after a few repetitions, try without the food reward in your hand and just perform the hand gesture. Now, if your dog isn't following your hand without the food reward in it, go back a step and repeat it with the food in your hand. Once your dog's performing this reliably, then fade out the food lure and try a few repetitions without the food. Always rely on your hand gesture as this is always visible to your dog and the hand gesture is unique to this request. Make sure you practice this in the future and at random times and reward your dog randomly to increase the likelihood and frequency of your dog performing the sit on request in the future. And that brings us on to today's video question of the day, which is, can you think of any situations where teaching your dog to perform a sit would be very useful? I'd love to know your thoughts and your feedback on that question. So let us know in the comment section below. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now, as I mentioned, this is part of our five minute technique series, but don't forget to check out the links in the show notes below for other videos and great information on positive reinforcement and clicker training. Well, once again, I'm Dr. Lisa with VCABS and from Marco and me, remember, stay positive. Thanks for watching.